Good character is not formed in a week or a month. It is created little by little. Day by day, protracted and patient effort is needed. The unexamined life is not worth living. I never did anything worth doing by accident, nor did any of my inventions come by accident. They came by work. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. The ideal man bears the accidents of life with dignity and grace, making the best of circumstances. We cannot live better than in seeking to become better. The secret of happiness, you see, is not found in seeking more, but in developing the capacity to enjoy less. What you leave behind is not what is engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. People are like dirt. They can either nourish you and help you grow as a person or they can stunt your growth and make you wilt and die. Happy is the man who has broken the chains which hurt the mind and has given up worrying once and for all. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Do not say a little in many words, but a great deal in few. Good actions give strength to ourselves and inspire good actions in others. Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Happiness and freedom begin with one principle. Some things are within your control and some are not. We can easily forgive a child who's afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writings so that you shall gain easily what others have labored hard for. The only true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. Moral excellence comes about as a result of habit. We become just by doing just acts, temperate by doing temperate acts, brave by doing brave acts. The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Beware the barrenness of a busy life. No man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength in which his body is capable. It is not living that matters, but living rightly.